There's a lot of enthusiasm going on in the state, and I think uh, this is going to bode well going into 2018. What has most surprised you about the Trump administration in the five plus months since he's been in office? Yeah, you know, in, in many ways, it's a low point for someone who's been doing this for 23 years, who believes in the process, who has friends across the aisle I can disagree with on policy and still work with and get things done. Watching this is a bit of a dumpster fire. Um, you know, watching a president who has no experience, surrounded by people with little experience, they're still on training wheels, they're falling down on training wheels. At some point, we need people to step up and it's about country over party. And right now, I feel like we're kind of in a, a down spot. I'd lie to you if I told you I go to Washington with a spring in my step uh, three out of the four weeks of the month when I'm going out there. Um, it's with some trepidation because there's always something new that's happening that's not what this country is about. And I think Donald Trump has been truly awful for this country. I would argue if we had a Medicare for all system, all of these fights would be for naught and everyone would have access to health care and we'd be no different than Canada or most of Europe. And I think that's what most people want. My top goal is to make sure that Senator Baldwin's coming back to the U.S. Senate. And I think that's going to happen. I'm confident. The governor's race is also right up there because if we could take back the governor's race, we have a goalie with all the gerrymandering that happened in the legislature. We need to do it. But I think with this energy we're seeing right now, we can do it in 2018. I'm glad we don't have a candidate right now because it's a 17 month presidential death march. We don't want a race like the presidential race. For 17 months, it's way too long to sustain. It only benefits those who have a lot of money and face it. That's the Republican Party. If we have candidates by by November, I think that makes sense, you're a year out, but I'm glad we don't have candidates right now because they're just going to raise a bunch of money to try to tear them down. We're going to have multiple good candidates, but to get in the race now, I think would be a mistake.